Hey guys, it's Tyler. Uh, it's Friday, I'm on spring break, I'm in down in Orlando, Florida, and I've been at Universal Studios the past couple days, aka Harry Potter World. And so I thought that I would like rate and review, like list Harry Potters and my least favorite to my favorite. Now going into this, I'm just going to tell you, I'm counting Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 as one movie. Starting at number 7 of my least favorite Harry Potter movie is Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. And this is probably because it was my favorite book. Favorite book, least favorite movie. Um, the whole movie was just uncomfortable. Uh, I don't know, Harry kissing the Cho was just uncomfortable. I think Harry kissing anyone, he's just, a, I don't, Daniel Radcliffe is just uncomfortable at kissing, so the least amount of he does of that is, like, the better. Um, but overall, I don't know. I just feel like I didn't feel it with the fifth one. Maybe it's just because I love the book so much. And then at number six, I'm going to put Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And that's just because I don't like snakes. And there's a really big snake in the Chamber of Secrets. And it has more Ron and less Hermione, which is stupid because I like Hermione and Ron is stupid. So, yeah. Coming in at number five is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And... I guess the idea behind it was good, but they had too much book and not enough movie, so it just didn't make it in there. And I feel like they decided to turn off all the lights in that one. It was so dark. I don't. I could never see what was going on in that movie because it just felt so dark. And I guess you had to take the series to that at some point, but like, it was just too dark. Just too dark. I couldn't see what was going on. Coming in at number four is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, this one is iconic just because it's the first one and it really introduces you to the world, but it's when they're children, children actors. Granted, all of them got better, but you know, the first one's so magical, but it's definitely not the best of the bunch. Coming in at number three is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, I rewatched this one a couple days ago and it's just... It's so, it's so, it's really great because it's very different from the other ones because you have like the Triwizard Tournament. Some weird moments in there, like the scene where Harry's in the bathtub and Moaning Myrtle is like a peeping Tom on him, that was just creepy and I don't know why it got in there. Or like, I, I'm trying to think of other weird stuff that's in there. Like Draco getting turned into a ferret. That was just weird. And I'm like, I don't know. That one's just full of weird stuff and I love it. It's awesome. But it's weird. <laughs> Coming in at number two is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, um, part one and two. Uh, it's such, such a strong finish, uh, I really have no problems with it, it's amazing. But it doesn't come anywhere close in my heart to number one, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The reason this one is my favorite is because they travel through time, which is never used again, but it, whatever. They have a werewolf, the Whomping Willow is awesome. More Hermione and less Ron. Did they never think to use the time turner again? Like, oh no, Sirius, Sirius died. Let's break out that time turner and go. F no, they don't need that. No, why bother? <laughs> it's never mentioned again. <laughs> it's not like it's an important piece of magic that could be helpful. <laughs> but <gasps> whatever, I don't make movies. So, that's the Harry Potter films from my least favorite to my favorite. Uh, that's not to say I don't like any of them, I love all of them, but that's just how I feel about most of them. And until next week, bye. Subscribe to Rough Edit. Yo. Subscribe Subscribe-a-day. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to Rough Edit. Whatever you do, just subscribe a Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.